Oh, hey there, what's up? It's Brian Altano from IGN. Now, in honor of Super Mario's 35th anniversary, which is this year, Nintendo's been putting out all sorts of cool limited edition stuff and uh, awesome things to sort of celebrate Super Mario. They did this like pin set through my Nintendo. They did the uh, Game & Watch, which was super cool and kind of hard to get. Uh, plus, you know, obviously Super Mario 3D All-Stars and a bunch of other stuff. But uh, on December 4th, they are dropping what I think is my favorite thing they've done all year, which are the brand new Future Rider Puma Nintendo Entertainment System sneakers. These drop December 4th, they're 90 bucks, and let's check them out because they are packed with tons of cool little details for old school Nintendo fans and sneaker heads alike. So yeah, let's take a look. Right off the bat, the box is awesome. It's got that sort of like 80s laser grid on it. Uh, some of the stuff you saw along the iconography and packaging of old school Nintendo games, um, and like most things in the 80s, got the little Super Mario logo on the side. Other than that, uh, it just kind of looks like a box of sneakers. Obviously, the old Nintendo Entertainment System red bar on top, which you saw in tons of games. The most important part is the shoes themselves. So opening it up, um, one last cool little detail about the packaging. There is a uh, packaging slip inside there that is sort of dotted with lots of screenshots of old school and current Mario games. There's stuff like uh, Galaxy, uh, you know, uh, Super Mario 3, um, Super, New Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario World, everything. The shoes themselves, the most important part, are really, really cool. So here they are. These are uh, the Puma Future Rider Nintendo Entertainment System sneakers. Um, right off the bat, a thing you'll notice is they come with a little rubber tag on a chain with an NES controller. You can keep those on if you want, uh, or you can take it off and you know hang it on your keys or something like that. But it is a really nice little touch. Uh, as you can see, the colorway here is uh, right down to very classic NES colors. Uh, the red for the power button or Mario, whatever you want to go with, uh, and the black, gray, and beige and white tone of the console itself are all included here. Um, these are really awesome because they're sort of subdued. Uh, we see a lot of collaborations between video game companies and secret companies, and a lot of the times they're really kind of like loud and over the top, which maybe you can rock. I like to keep things a little more simplified. You couldn't tell that from my background, but usually I'm pretty minimalist in the, in the clothing department. Um, but there are a lot of cool little details here once you sort of start to dig into it. The tongue itself uh, is emboldened with this really awesome box art from the original Super Mario Brothers. So it's just a nice little detail right there in the tongue. Uh, the laces are adorned with this tiny little sort of like dark gray metal piece right on the end, which I really dig. Um, as you can see, the colors themselves, like everything else, matches the original system. Um, but they've also got buttons on the side. They don't do anything, but they're there and they're really cool. So on uh, the left shoe, you have the power button and on the right shoe, you have the reset button. So uh, side by side, you won't notice these on the inside because they're blank on the insides right there. But from the outsides, left and right, you got power and reset, the two buttons on the front of the NES. Now, obviously nothing opens up here. Uh, you won't have to put any games in this thing. You won't have to blow in them to make them work, or you could try it, you know, see what happens. But uh, otherwise, they are incredibly comfy shoes. Uh, they have this really awesome uh, sole on the bottom here. I think I stepped on something. What is that? Did I step in gum? So, all right, uh, another cool thing. The insole themselves has uh, the uh, sort of, you know, the, the end of every fourth level in the original Super Mario Brothers is Super Mario fighting against Bowser. Uh, right on that weird bridge that he always falls into and dies. And so uh, they did a really cool thing here, creating that scene and letting you just sort of tuck it into your shoes. So you got Bowser throwing his hammers and you've got Mario and you got some lava down there. Super, super cool. Otherwise, yeah, they're pretty straightforward. They're super clean. They're incredibly comfy. And I really, really dig these. So once again, these are the Future Rider Nintendo Entertainment System sneakers by Puma. They're out December 4th and they're 90 bucks a pair. They'll probably go fast. So do what you can to get them. Um, there's always the secondhand market for sneaker sales, you know, uh, websites like StockX. Ebay is doing stuff too as well, obviously. I'm a pretty big sneaker head, so I fall into those pits a lot. Um, it's also like, you know, that's that's kind of been, become part of the culture of how to get these shoes once they sell out very quickly. Uh, but maybe you'll get lucky and find these in a store. So uh, keep an eye out um, and thanks to Nintendo for sending these over. I love them and uh, happy birthday, Super Mario. You're 35 or your game is 35. You look like 40, I would guess, but apparently canonically you're 30, which, you know, I don't, I don't want to judge you, but that seems, seems odd. I, I would say you definitely look older than 30, but you're not 50 or anything. But we love you, Mario. You're a good dude. Happy birthday.